In terms of, of profitability and growth, um, growth was fairly muted. Earnings in the, in the second half of 2015 increased by about 6% nominal compared to the first half of, of 2015. Um, in real terms, that's about a 3% increase in earnings. Very low muted growth, and if we look at it in terms of year on year, that's about only a 2.3% increase. The industry from 2009 really has been in a very low growth, um, often negative growth kind of environment. Um, expectations are for the first six months of, of this year that earnings would actually fall by about 5 to 6%. So the outlook is, is, is more depressed. This is really like a structural uh, rut that we're sitting in at the moment. It's not a cyclical development at all. And um, it's not cyclical of nature. This is, we are stuck between global economic conditions, domestic conditions, um, spending on infrastructure, capacity, skills. Um, there's so much that is actually playing a role in this. If we look at profitability, now we've had some improvement in the last six months. Average profitability was about 17.8%, which is actually not bad. It's one of the best levels we've had since 2010. Um, and whether or not that is going to be sustained, um, we will have to see. But people remain extremely negative in terms of the outlook for profitability. So the net satisfaction rate, those that are saying it's bad, less those that are saying it's good, is currently sitting at minus 51. Now that is a very low rate and it has been below 0% since 2010. So profitability remains under, under pressure. Um, the outlook for it is quite um, depressed, not confident that we are actually going to realize sufficient kind of profits. So 64% of firms were unsatisfied with the current levels versus 56% in the first six months. So the, the engineering firms are becoming more concerned about profitability. We need the private sector to be involved. We need business confidence to be restored for the private sector to actually start getting pipeline activity and all the rest of it going. And we're sitting at a level of about 36 um, a satisfaction or a confidence index level of about 36. Very similar to the charts that we've seen from engineers, that we're seeing from, from contractors. It's the sideways move. So we need a level of about 50 um, or I would actually say we need a level of about 60 to 70 that will be strong enough to actually start encouraging investment for people to start planning and start investing and then once that gets to 60, 70 we still need two or three years before we're really going to see that penetrating the construction industry and benefiting the industry. Mm -hmm.